Why do you think they had such success in the second half? 60% shooting in the second half? Uh, they shot 60% in the second half? Mm. <laughs> he like, they did what? God dang, cuz. I mean, Luca was definitely involved in a lot of that. He makes a lot of great reads out of the, you know, out of the pick and roll. Um, tried to show him different looks. Kept making the right reads. Um, it's all him. We just got to figure figure him out, you know. But we'll figure it out. Hey, man. <laughs> Anthony Edwards didn't figure out shit. He ain't figure out a motherfucking thing. <laughs> well, you lied. Well, you figured out how to go home. Well, all the what? Hey. Hey, I'm still rocking with you, Ant. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to rock with you. Hey, man, at least give me one so I can come on here and brag a little bit. But I'm going to I'm gonna get these people what they want, you know. Hey, bro, I'm going to get what they want in the comments. Hey, bro, we on it. I'm going to let y'all have y'all day, man. Let's get it. All right, Kyle. Can someone get the door? You want? Thank you. Hey, what Hey, what? Hey, what they smiling so much for? Look at these, the happiest losers I done ever freaking met. What y'all smiling so much for, man? It's going to, oh, my God. All right, Kyle. Can someone get the door? You want? Thank you. What's smiling so much for? Uh, kind of, what are you pretty positive right now for him, trying to encourage everybody? Kind of, what's your what's your mindset now as you try to not overcome a three with nothing but? I mean, we ain't got nothing else to do. That's the only we can't do nothing but be positive at this point. We can't be negative, you know. So try to get one win at a time. Hey, hold on. How about how about we get a win? You know what I'm saying? Like, can we get a win? <laughs> God day, Ant man, let's go. Uh, we had good looks. We had a couple good looks. Missed, missed them. Um, the ball got stuck a couple times in my hands. You know, um, gotta get off of it a little bit more. But yeah, we'll be all right. Oh no, you said that last game. Uh, -uh. <laughs> oh no, oh no. And what is it about you that doesn't? see a sky is falling when the sky appears to be falling. <laughs> um, I never think the sky is falling. Um, I don't know. I'm always positive, always happy. Um, been through the worst, so the sky is never falling for me. Mike and Kyle, you guys got some offensive rhythm going together in that kind of two-man game in the fourth quarter. What was working that there that can kind of extend over uh, to game four? Um, Y'all can hear me? Um, I thought we were just playing with a, a good pace, like the ball wasn't sticky. Uh, kind of playing with that point five mentality, where you know two dribbles, get off it, hit the pocket. That guy makes a play. Normally it was Kyle um, finding guys and just moving without the ball. When we play that way, we're, we're it's, a t it's t we're a tough team to kind of gauge where to be at, where to load up on, who to load up on. Um, so we just, if we can move the ball like that, continue to have that continuity on offense, I think it'll it'll allow our offense just to have a little bit um, more effectiveness, especially late game and when we're, we're pressing for buckets. Hey, whoever this dude is in the middle, he say it say supported by Balenciaga, but it should say supported by Luca and Kyrie. That's what it should say, Luca and Kyrie. Yeah, just forced the ball out of Kyrie or Luca's hands. Other guys were hitting shots early in the game. And then to guard them straight up, they were hitting shots late. Uh, just how tough has it been to defend these guys, especially in, in this game? Yeah, those two are obviously really good shot makers. And when you get uh, Derek Jones and PJ Washington and you know a lot of those other guys playing as well as they did, they're tough to beat. So um, just got to figure out a way to slow both of them down. And um, you know, Luca and Kyrie, and you know, as well as those other guys too. You know, they can't all play well like that. You know, we have to pick and choose, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Game four. What? How y'all gonna pick and choose when it didn't matter who y'all picked? They did what they wanted to do. Luca got it, spinning around, jumping around, fade away, switch. Kyrie get it. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all, y'all steal the ball from him. He come back the very next possession and do a walk down three. They did what they wanted to do. If you can't play that, I'm gonna take one away. Gabe, you gonna they gonna hit it? If you gonna take somebody away, take somebody away. Take them off the map. If you gonna say, "Hey man, Luca, you gonna have to win this game." Then take Kyrie completely off the map. I don't care what you gotta do. <laughs> take them off the map. Take them off the map. Yeah, the dunk, the dunk you had in the third quarter. Did you feel at that time it maybe kind of galvanized the team a little bit? It seemed like it gave you guys a real shot in the arm at that time with the way you were able to tie the game at the end of the third. 
I mean, hell yeah, I, I hope it did, or at least I tried, um, you know. Yeah. Like schematically, the Dallas' defense has been really good for the last two and a half months. Like the, the way you're talking about playing, like getting up the ball, you know, just moving it, is, is that the best way to kind of render the way teams load up, moot almost? Uh, I think so. I think that um, you you play into their hands when you hold the ball, when you um, you know dribble it out, dribble out the clock. You're fighting against the shot clock. I thought that was the issue we had a little bit tonight, where we were you know looking up and we had 10, 11 seconds on the clock, and at that point you have to force something um, instead of just being in action early, playing with a little bit more. Um, you know, uh, force going down the downhill and making plays, which we're capable of doing. And like I said, the last couple of games, we, we're more than capable of making these adjustments and making these reads. And just it's just we got to want to do it. We got to want to do it every single time against a defense like this, who's who's you know very long, athletic, smart, um, and calculated in what they do. We've seen like when you lose three games, like in very close fashion, like this. No, when you lose all the games in a series in very close fashion, like this. Continue. As a veteran, can that seep into the minds of a young team when it gets down to four minutes left and it's a close game and you don't have the positive reinforcement that we can beat this team when the game gets close? Do you see that? Um, I mean, it, I could say it would be the opposite. If you were winning those games, you would feel confident when you look up and you look, you know, four minutes left and you've been winning the games. You don't think positive thoughts. Um, and I think it, I can't speak for every person, but I'm sure we're – Looking up and say, how are we going to get? How are we going to win this one? How we got to figure it out? You know, this is a moment of, of the game where we got to be um, tight and together and uh, and figure it out. Obviously, it's on our minds because um, for the majority of this series, I felt like we've we've given ourselves a chance. Um, we've given ourselves leads. We've given ourselves opportunities, and and we know what part of the game we need to be better at. And the part that is going to win us the game is going to be that fourth quarter. For the three of you, um, especially, you know, I, I think in the first half, maybe uh, you're struggling maybe to score the ball a little bit. And I felt like Cat was especially more aggressive and Ant, you were especially facilitating the ball around. Was there something you could take away from that third quarter to um, for your offensive rhythm or just what was working there? Um, <laughs> was, I don't think I was on the court, so it might be for y'all to. Um, but no, uh, just um, getting into our actions and, and, and getting good shots. I, I, we, we didn't shoot the ball as well as we would like to, too. Um, but in that, in, in that spurt, um, I think we were doing a good job of getting into our actions, playing with pace. We obviously could play with a little more pace, but uh, you know we were getting the shots we like. Um, we just got to convert. Yeah. That's, that's just what it comes down to. Sometimes the NBA game comes down to making are missing shots and uh you know we just got to make more shots and uh so work hard to get good shots you know what i'm saying when you guys were in your two-man game and you're doing a lot of respacing is it harder to respace when they're filling gaps and being a little bit tenser up there or is it easier to respace or is it just a different way even when we was respacing and we was getting to our spots we just wasn't knocking the shots down so, I mean, at the end of the day, they're going to be in the gaps even more the more we miss. We didn't shoot the ball well from three tonight at all. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I didn't make one. Nope, nobody shot well but um, Jaden and Mike from three. And, um, you know, and if we keep shooting like that, then they're just going to keep being in the gaps. So no matter how we re-space and get back out to the three-point line, if we don't knock them down, they're going to sit in the gaps all night. And what in that box score stands out to you? Seeing? <sighs> Everything. Let it be is... everything. It need to be everything. The whole, the whole thing, from the rooted to the two, from the top to the bottom. Seventeen. Um, thir they had thirty-one free throws. We had seventeen. Do you think the oh, physicality? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Ed, 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 man, I'm rocking with you. I ain't gonna let you get away with that one. They had thirty-one. You had seventeen. Come on, man. I'm not. I'm not letting you put this on the rest now. We, we gonna have me, me and you. Man, you gonna have to shoulder this one, my boy. We gonna have to shoulder this one, we ain't, and we ain't putting this one on the ref. I, I backed you. I backed you as my pony, and I'm gonna back you again and again until they put y'all out. That was emphasized in the second half of the season. They seemed like the rest were allowing you guys to play a little more hands, a little more with the body. There was foul trouble. I think you guys won the penalty with maybe eight, eight minutes. minutes left. Left. Is it inconsistency, Mike? You were in foul trouble. How, what did you? What did you see? How, how did you see? I won't say the game being called. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, but do you see? Did you did you feel it being a little different tonight? Man, you trying, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm not. 
No, um, no, honestly, a lot of my fouls were fouls, I thought. Um, but it's it's about consistency on both ends. Yeah. Yes, that's all I, we asked for at the end of the day. Um, if I foul, yeah, I foul, I foul the jump shooter. I did it. I've done it two or three times this series. Call the hands on. My mic fouled and just call it down. That's there. All, that's oh, all. That's all we had. So, yeah, turn into some crybabies. Ah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just woke up. I don't know. Oh, but they turned into some crybabies, man. Just take the L, bro. Dang. This is just consistency, yeah. and if, if they we did get a great that. job tonight, we just asked for the same calls down there. Yep. And it's not unusual for teams have been throwing a lot of defensive attention at you all season, and especially in, in these playoffs. Why has this series has that proven more difficult to overcome? Um, like I said, I mean we're not knocking the shot. Like we've been knocking the shots down all, all the whole playoffs. Um, Denver series, the Phoenix series, we was making all the shots. So it's it's harder to you know do what you do when we knocking them down, but when we not knocking them down, it's 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 easier to crowd the paint. Um, I was getting to the rim today, and it was just like four people in there, you know. So they make they make it tough, man. They did a great job. Shout out to them. You feel like you had the same burst in the fourth that you did in the third? Yeah. What do you guys have to do to get Carl going offensively in, in game four? Um, I think Cat got to uh, just do a better job of getting back to maybe his old self, um, finding himself around the basket more, uh, rim running, you know, taking advantage of mismatches. Um, you know, he's, he's obviously a really good player and he's big time for us. So, um, you know, we need him to get going. So it's our job to, you know, put him in the right position. Um, and then the threes will fall. Yeah. Um, but I think if he gets back to rim running or catching the ball on the block and, you know, taking his time and going to finish, they got nothing for him. So, uh, you know, he just got to. Uh, find him, put him, put him, put him in the right, you know, situations. All right, so yeah, man, Anthony Edwards still uh, so dumb, young and dumb that he don't know he should be panicking right now, which I like. You know what I'm saying? Can they still run off four games? Sure, if you the better team, you can win. You can win four straight. Is it likely? Is it probable? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but if you are the better team, you can run off four straight. You could. You could push a game seven. Um, so, but yeah, man, this, the crime, the complaining about the refs and everything like that, I, I ain't really like all that, man. Just take the L, bro. Take the L, you know, just, just sit on it. Sit on it. Y'all know that, you know, you're going to get a little home cooking. I think they was at home too. So yeah, they're going to get them boys a little extra, you know, because y'all blew it when y'all was at home. When y'all was at home, y'all blew it. So, you know, you, you, you dropped two games at home, so you don't get to complain about home field advantage. Nope, won't let you do it.